Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over the Murph.ai voiceover tutorial. In fact, if you've never created a voiceover, this is going to show you how to do it and give you some guidance. If you'd like to follow along, I will put a link in the description where you can get a free trial for Murph and you get some free minutes so you can mess around with it that way. Let's begin. So first you want to create a new project. I just put creating your first voiceover and I'm going to click on create project. And what I'm going to do is actually follow along these steps that they give you. So cool thing about Murph is that they have plenty of tutorials. I've also noticed that their chat is extremely helpful right off the bat. That's something I really like when I first kind of, you know, start using a software or any type of product or service where customer support is going to be very helpful. Sometimes with companies, you have to wait <laughs> days, which is unfortunate, but it's cool that they actually have a live chat where you can speak with someone and get answers if you need them. Uh, and when I asked them, like, hey, do you have any tutorial videos? I probably could have searched around a little bit more or any just type of tutorials. They sent me a few great ones. This was one of them. So first and foremost, when it comes to this step, you can enter your text in three ways. You can type it in the box. You can copy and paste, or you can script tab slash or go to upload script. But either way, let's just type it in the box. That's what we're going to do. As you can see right here, give me a second. And what I'm going to do is just type in some random text and then we will go from there. Okay, so I put, hey, my name is James, and thank you for watching this tutorial about how to create your first voiceover with Murph. Okay, so that was the first step. So after that, we have step two, choose a voice, click on voice actor to open the library. So what we can do is click on that. And there's going to be plenty of them here. I've gone over all these voices already, but some of my favorites are going to be Marcus and Natalie. I just got to play Natalie again. Hers is great. Sounds perfect for a commercial. Introducing Perfect Meal, a special formula for your feline made with Right, isn't that one great? And Marcus? We are innate, and we believe in breaking every unattainable beauty standard the society has. Right, that is a pro one, but I'm just going to select it so that you can hear it when it comes to using this example. Okay, so we have that Marcus would be reading that one. Let's go back over here. Uh, step three, select a voice. We did that. It says Murph Library of Voices contains 140 plus voices across 20 languages. You can filter by the specifics. We did that. I just didn't filter too much, obviously. Click on the generate button to convert your text to speech. So let's do that. Generate audio and give it a second. Okay, so there it is. It's right there. Let's click on play and let's hear it. Hey, my name is James. And thank you for watching this tutorial about how to create your first voiceover with Murph. Yeah, that was really good. I think it was like, hey, my name is James. I think there was like a little skip there. But overall, aside from that, that was phenomenal. I really liked that voice like I talked about. Uh, it says click on the generate button to convert your text to speech. We did click on play to preview your file. And that is pretty much it. Now, if you wanted to add more, we can do add block. So let's do that. And once again, I put in this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating your very first voiceover. Let's click on play so we can generate that. And it's going to take a few seconds for it to kind of buffer and preview. And you'll notice that it also added it down there. So what I want to do is just kind of skip back to the beginning. It's not too long. So let's play it from the beginning and hear what we have for those 10 seconds. Hey, my name is James. And thank you for watching this tutorial about how to create your first voiceover with Murph. In this video, I'm going to walk you the process of creating your very first voiceover. That was phenomenal, especially the second one. So I think the only thing there was like the, hey, my name is James, like a little bit of pause. Let's just say, hey, or hello. My name is James, and let's go with that. And what I want to do is generate audio. So this is going to re-render. Okay, and so now that that is changed, let's just go back there and see how it sounds with hello. And let's move that back. All right, let's click play one more time. Hello, my name is James. And thank you for watching this tutorial about how to create your first voiceover with Murph. In this video... Okay, I said I'd only do it one more time, but let's see. Let's just do hello, I'm James. I think it's just something about the way he says my name is. So let's click on play. So that it renders. And of course, this is something you can mess around with. Like maybe if some words sound better, you can always do it that way. Now let's listen to the final time all the way through. Hello, I'm James. And thank you for watching this tutorial about how to create your first voiceover with Murph. In this video, I'm going to walk you the process of creating your very first voiceover. All right, that was perfect. All right, so all it took was just changing around. Hello, my name is James to hello, I'm James. And it sounded very smooth. Like you can't even tell it's AI or like a completely different voiceover. That's what I really like about it. Very high quality voices. But overall, that's a quick tutorial when it comes to Murph AI and creating your very first voiceover. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Also in the description, I will leave a link where you can get a free trial for Murph where you can test this out on your own when it comes to creating voiceovers. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.